fear of man is a trap. It's a snare. I remember reading in the Reader's Digest years ago, a man telling a little bit about his early life in a small town up in the Ozarks. And he said, you know, there was a chicken hawk that flew around our town, and every once in a while it would swoop down and get some dinner out of our yard. He said that chicken hawk flew so close to heaven that he feared no man. And I said, oh God, make me like that chicken hawk. In other words, the fear of the Lord is a good thing. A reverence for God, an appreciation of God, will overcome the fear of man. The fear of man is a snare. And if you let what men think about you rob you of speaking out for God, standing for God, you you have betrayed the one who died for you. Nebuchadnezzar makes this this image, and he says, "Now when." When the music starts, I want everybody to bow down and worship this image. Well, there were some men there. They were expatriates. They they had been taken captive in the little land of Israel, and they'd been brought to this pagan land. They were young men, uh, away from the influences of home, and it wasn't easy for them to stand up. You can imagine the pressure, the peer pressure, the social pressure. Everyone else bows down to worship this image, and they remain standing. There's an old Scottish proverb. It goes something like this: "Juke, duck, and let the wave gang o'er." If you're standing in the surf and a wave comes, the best way to avoid the blow of the surf is to is to duck under and let the let the majority of the force be carried over your back. And in times of persecution, people were encouraged just to duck a bit. Don't stand there and take the full brunt of the thing. And here were three young men. We don't know much about them at all. Friends of Daniel. And I love their answer. They said, "We're we're not worried about answering to you." Now, this Nebuchadnezzar was not your token、uh, constitutional monarch. This was a man snap of your fingers and off with your head. Nobody could say no to him. And they stood before that man, and they said, "We're not worried to answer you." They say, "If God wants to, He can deliver us out of the fiery furnace. He will deliver us out of your hand, one way or another, either out of the fire or through the fire. But God will deliver. The Christian can't lose. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus." Soldiers of the Cross.